Hello and welcome back to the first Barvemba video solution for a long time. Now, I'm going to give you a few different ways of looking at this one. Um, but anyway, let's get going. A box of fruit contains apples, bananas and cherries. 40% of the fruit are apples. The ratio of bananas to cherries is 5 to 7. There are 56 more cherries than bananas. And then we have a situation change. Some apples are given away and now 20 percent of the remaining fruit are apples and the question we are asked is how many apples were given away so we always have to be you know that's the first thing we have to zero in on in our word problems we need to make sure we understand what the question is okay so let's have a look at this there's a, a few ways or a couple of ways to approach it so 40% of the fruit are apples. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is thank you, White Rose Maths. I love it when you do A, B and C. It makes the labelling so easy, but there we go. So 40% of the fruit are apples. And we're also told that the ratio of bananas to cherries is 5 to 7. Now, that means there's going to be five parts of bananas to seven parts of cherries. And that equals 12 parts altogether, doesn't it? There, okay. So that's something to notice. Now, if we start at the beginning, we would say, okay, 40% of the fruit are apples. So that means I can draw a big block, okay. And what I'm going to do is one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, sorry, I'm so slow, nine, dear, ten. Okay, they're all supposed to be equal size portions. And we know that if 40% of the fruit are apples, that means that the bananas and cherries must comprise 60%. Now, I can see here that 60% works nicely, 60 and 12 parts, that works very nicely. So I could continue to use this diagram. Now, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is put 40% of apples over here at the end, because we're giving some away and I always like to take away from the back of the bar, as it were. So one, two, three, four, because each of these 10 Equal size parts represents 10% of the whole. So one, two, three, four. This is apples. Okay. All right. In fact, I could. There we go. Oh, maybe that was a bad idea. So that's apples. All right. And what's better is to just label it like this. So this is 40%. Gosh. There we go. All right. I'm obviously rusty. There we go. And that then must be 60%. Now, the 60%, I've got six equal size parts at the moment, but actually I need 12 parts, don't I? So I'm going to divide each of these into two. Okay. And if I'm dividing these ones into two, I also have to divide these into two. OK, so. So these are all apples, so we now have eight parts, eight parts apples. And what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five bananas and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cherries. OK, so we could if we wanted we don't have to, um, because as I said, you know, we're normally doing this with just a pen and paper or is that, that's our cherries. Okay. All right. So, um, now I, so I can, I could have, I could do it this way or I could have done it this way. This is another way to approach it where I just start with these parts here and I draw one, two, three, four, five for the bananas. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the cherries. Okay, and then 
I might be, so I know that that's 60% because I know that the apples are 40%. And then I might think, okay, um, well, I know that 12 parts equals 60%. And um, so therefore 10%, all right, must be, um, that's 60 divided by 6 is 10. So if I divide that by 6, that's 2. So my two parts gives me 10%. So then I would know to draw um, eight parts because I want 40% for the apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you end up with the same diagram. I'm just showing you, you might have come about it a different way and it doesn't matter as long as it makes sense to you and the model needs to make sense to you, the person drawing it and using it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's the 40%. Fantastic. All right. So we have used this bit of information. We've used this bit of information. And now we have this bit of information. There are 56 more cherries than bananas. Now I could just think, okay, I've got, I know I've got two more blocks of cherries than I have bananas. So I could do this, right? That means that these two, that equals 56. Okay, and if two blocks, oops, if two blocks equals 56, then one block must equal 28. All right, so each of these blocks, all of these equal size blocks, represents 28 pieces of fruit. I could, of course, also decide um, if I just can't visualize it, I could have done this one, two, three, four, five, four, cherries oh no hang on that's my bananas sorry there we go bananas and then cherries because this is normally what we do if we're trying to um compare gosh that's terrible there we go that's the same and then cherries have got two more Okay, and I know that this difference is 56. That's another way that we could draw it. And that means that these two, again, must be 28, 56 divided by 2. Okay, so we've now used this piece of information and we know each of these equal size blocks is represents 28 pieces of fruit. Now we've got the situation change. Some apples are given away and now 20% of the remaining fruit are apples. Okay, so in the original model, the bananas and cherries represent 60%, and then we get rid of some apples, and now the apples are 20%, and that means the bananas and cherries represent 80% of the model. And remember, the number of apples and cherries does not change. Okay, so in the new situation, the the 12 portions of bananas and cherries now equals 80%. So 12 now equals 80%. Okay. So um, if 12 equals 80%, then what is going to equal 20%, which is what the remaining apples are going to be? Well, um, 80 divided by Four gives us 20. So I'm going to divide my 12 by 4 to give me 3. So 3 blocks is going to equal 20%. So at the end, I'm going to be left with 3, these 3 blocks of apples. So I'm going to get rid of, give away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I give away 5 blocks of apples. So, and each of these, remember, represents 28 pieces of fruit. So 28 multiplied by 5. Okay, I always find it easier to multiply by 10 and divide by 2. So it's really easy to see that this is 140. So that's the answer. I know this, because this bit here, this is 140. I'm checking back to my question. That's how many apples were given away? 140. And that's my final answer. Um, and I hope this helps. Thank you very much.